Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, August 4th to the 5th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Scorpions, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment, Scorpio. <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. The Death card and the Four of Swords. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. What's going on? Let's get this message, shall we? Hmm. I'm getting see through your well what you appear what you what you see as faults see through those because they're not what you see as sort of lacking they're saying within you is not it's actually a blessing you just need to look at these things a little bit differently It's your perception of yourself that wanting you to change. Those negative aspects or what you perceive as negative aspects of the self is actually a good thing. Because it's balance, they said. It's that balance within, right? No one person can be everything. So it's part of this balance and it's this balance that they're wanting you to appreciate within you so that you can come to peace and to terms with you. Okay, thank you. All right. What's driving you crazy? What's, what's got you all up in your head? Let's see what's going on here. You're doing some healing. It could be over an Empress, a Taurus, or a Libra, or a mother. This is a mother. Could be the mother of your children, a mother. You're showing up here in your own reading with the death card. I feel like, oh, you're transforming the way that you're looking at happiness. This is a good thing. So you are changing your perception about certain things in your life. And they're wanting you to keep going at that. Okay? You got two fours here, which represent family, home, stability. Tell me about this four of swords. Why'd you peace out? What are you healing over? Okay, you could have walked away from somebody. Are they you? Who is this Empress to uh, Scorpio? Who is this Empress to Scorpio? Four of Pentacles. Somebody that's holding back or that you're holding back from. Six of Swords. Somebody at a distance. What's this truth? Huh. All right, there's some sort of truth and clarity here. Behind this four of pentacles and this hanged man. I feel like you're seeing a reflection here, okay? 
whatever it is that this empress is going through you, is being reflected back at you and you're seeing some sort of truth and see now this is the peace within yourself right so it's like this person is reflecting this clarity about where your peace be at within the self and I feel it's through this empress's holding back and remaining mm, dare I say stuck but it's not stuck it's more still <laughs> now they're giving me the song in the still of the night wow I haven't heard that song in a long time okay so that's interesting and I feel like you, you know this so you're reflecting on this and you're piecing out you're reflecting on this piece but piece it out tell me about this uh, death card this transformation tell me about this death card for Scorpio Queen of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn here so this has something to do with your stability, your happiness, your money, your legacy, because Ten of Pentacles is not only marriage, happiness, loyalty, it's legacy. And the Queen of Pentacles, right? The Queen of Pentacles knows how to build shit. Now that's relationships, that's business, whatever she touches, she grows. It's like she she's got that Midas touch like the Empress does she does this through appreciation and nurturing whatever it is that she's got going on whether that be a relationship whether that be a business whether anything a freaking garden I mean it really could be anything tell me about the ten of Pentacles mmm king of swords all right You've got that business hat on now, Scorpio. And I feel like it's almost like you walked away from your heart. And you're just... See, and that's what you're seeing reflected back in this holding back of your heart. So with the King of Swords, Libra energy for me, as a reader, it, it's like the emperor pulls the king of swords out of their ass to get shit done as far as business is concerned. And I feel like that's what you know your, your focus has been on. So you're wanting to transform the, the way that you look at this. Okay. So what advice do you have for Scorpio? Scorpio. Let's see. Strength. The card of Leo. Knight of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Focus on being abundant within the self, right? Listen to your intuition. How are you filling your own cup? This is the nine of pentacles, but I'm getting from this. It's like, how are you filling your own cup when it comes to emotional fulfillment? How are you doing that? Because I feel like you got the pentacle shit down. The intuition, sometimes I feel you can ignore that, even though you're very, very connected. So you need to listen to that little birdie and have the strength to look at the shit that you need to, right? As you peace out and communicate from the heart. Also communicate to spirit as well what you want as far as love is concerned. 
Because there's not, there's no cups here but the Eight of Cups. That's it. That's it. One more last card for, no, two more. King of Wands and Five of Cups. Well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. We have the Five of Cups. No sense getting distraught over the past, right? What can you pull from it? What can you learn from it? Okay? No matter how terrible it was, there's always something that you can pull from the past, from any moment, from any experience. There's something positive in it. You just have to look for it and look for it until, right? You see how he's focused on like, <laughs> he's got like this major focus on whatever he's looking at. And bring that passion back. Bring that passion back to your heart. Okay? Transmute this energy, this sadness into mm, passion. Okay? You can do that. You know how to do that. Come on, Scorpio. Time to start a new cycle. All right? Time to look at this a little bit differently. All right, Scorpio, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information can be found in the description box below. Have a good one, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.